Hello and welcome to another exciting and beautiful edition with me, Uncle North. So today I'll be telling you something about this country in the Schengen region that can allow you to come and live in it for about nine months, even without a job offer. Now, there are many countries in Schengen region that doesn't offer this kind of opportunity. But if you are interested in living in the Schengen region in Europe, even without a job opportunity, without a job offer, you want to travel to Europe and leave, stay there, look for a job, get a job and start working, then this video is definitely for you. And before I start telling you about this country, I want you to know that this is one of the most stable countries in Europe, in fact, even the world at large. And one thing is that this country offers so many opportunities, benefits for expatriates and their families if you are ready to leave and settle in this country. Like I said, I remain Uncle North. I want to tell you that you are in the right place if you are interested in content related to traveling, looking for job, immigration, scholarships, and stuff like that. If you are seeing me for the first time, I will employ you to please subscribe to this channel and also click on the post notification button so you will get an update whenever I post something new. But this subscribers, I know you've not seen me for a while. I want to say thank you for sticking with us and thank you for keep liking and sharing my video, my content, because without you, we are not going to be here. All right, so let me start telling you about this country. Like I said, this country is one of the most stable countries in Europe. And one beautiful thing about this country is the fact that if you are not employed from your country, you can move to this country, settle down there, start looking for a job for up to nine months, even, um, even if you don't have a job offer from your country. And there are a lot of things I have to tell you, the kind of professions. I'm going to be showing you some of things about this country when I come back. Don't go anywhere. Now, one of the challenges most people get is looking for a job from their country and moving abroad. Now, even countries like UK that offers employment for international workers or professionals, sometimes there are no jobs and you have to look for agencies and people and so like that before you can get a job. Now, some countries like this country I'm telling you about today has made it possible for you to move there, stay there for up to nine months, look for a job within this period, get convert your visa to work permit visa, then bring your family, start living in this country, and start entering life as a resident of this country. I'm not talking about any other country than Sweden. Now, Sweden has made it possible for international professionals to move on a job seeker visa and move to Sweden for up to nine months, stay in Sweden, look for a job, get its jobs, or look for a, a, a vocational skills, learn it, get a job, and start um, converting their visa from a job seeker visa to a work permit visa. So these job seeker visas allow you to move from your home country to Sweden and stay for up to nine months. Now within this period, you can either get a job, then convert your visa to a work permit visa, then start working, or you can start up a business, then convert your visa to business visa and you start living as a resident in this country. Now while you are in this country, within the period of nine months, you are allowed to do any kind of thing, look for job, loom a job, as long as you come in with the right channel. Now, the next thing I'm going to be telling you is the eligibility criteria for you to be eligible for this work, uh, for these job seeker visas. There are certain criteria you must meet. All right, for you to be eligible for this job seeker visa, you must first of all have a passport. Now, I said this several times in some of my videos that if you're thinking of living and working abroad and you don't have a passport, then you're on the long thing. So you need to have a passport that is very current and it's not expiring in the next six months. Number two, you have to be financially stable. Now you must be able to prove to the Swedish immigration that you have a normal, the amount of funds that will keep you in Sweden uh, on throughout the period of you looking for jobs. So you have to go to the Swedish immigration website to find out how much this is. I'm going to be dropping the link on the, uh, on the, on the description of this video. The other thing is that you must have at least a, uh, a degree, a, a master's degree, uh, or a PhD or you have a advanced vocational studies if you, have, if you did a vocational program you must have gone for that entire vocational program then ensure that you also have uh, a health insurance that will cover you throughout the period where you'll be looking 
uh, for job. All right. So what are the requirements and how can you make this application step by step? I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be um, explaining how you're going to make this application step by step. Mm -hmm. Number one, you have to prepare the necessary documents. Now, what are these necessary documents you might want to ask? All right. So the first thing you have to one of the um, requirements for this application is the fact that you need to have a, a valid um, international passport that is not going to be expiring in the next six months. Your international passport has to be valid for at least at more than six months. Then the next thing is to have the application form that you're going to get at the website of the Swedish Immigration. All right, number three, you must show evidence of your academic um, uh, qualification. So if you are saying that you have a degree, you must show you must be able to present. Uh, a copy of it if you are showing that say you have a, a master's degree if you say you have a vocational studies you'll be able to show mm -hmm. them that okay you have a profession that is marketable in sweden i'll also be telling you some of the professions that are marketable in sweden mm -hmm. as we progress all right then another thing is be able to show that you're financial financially stable to cater for yourself when you move to sweden it's very important that you be able to convince them to that you are financial, financially stable then the last but not the least is a an health insurance that will cover you through the period of your stay and looking for work remember you're not going on a work permit visa you're going to you are going on a work uh, uh work visa um, um work seeker visa so that's it these are two different kind of visas all right now number two after you get all these application uh, documents you submit your application all right, you have to go online. The application is made online, so you're not traveling for anywhere. You go to the website and make application. Like I said, I'm going to put in the link on the website of the website um, in the description of this video. Then, after making the application, you pay the application fee, which is about $150, um, $150 or $1,500 uh, Swedish Chrome. All right, then finally, you now wait for your application uh, to be um addressed or to be responded to be reviewed and um the immigration getting back to you but be rest assured that if you meet all the requirements especially if you have the financial capabilities to stay to if you can show that you you have the qualification or the financial capabilities you definitely get this visa now what are the job what are the careers what are the professions that are in demand in sweden now in case you're wondering is my vocational studies did I read the right course that, that is marketable in Sweden? What, what kind of profile, uh, course do I need to have or what kind of career do I need to have for me to move to Sweden? All right, so I'm, I'm going to be listing some of the careers or some of the courses for you. Number one is IT. Now, we know that IT is one of the most sellable courses, whether it's cyber security, data management, data uh, analysis, just name it. Whatever field you are in the IT sector and you want to move to Sweden, Sweden is one of the places you can move to and uh, rest assured you're going to be getting something good in the IT sector. Number two is the healthcare sector. Now, if you're in the healthcare sector, be the nurse, a doctor, a lab scientist, radiographer, um, HIT, just whatever you are doing in the health sector. Sweden is a place where your profession, your, your skill is highly in demand. So you can move there in case you don't, you, you've not gotten a job, you can move there on this job seeker visa and start making application. Mm -hmm. Number three is engineering. I always say people who are in the engineering field that you are also a hot cake. It's not just people in the IT sector or people in the healthcare sector. If you are a mechanic engineer, a civil engineer, you are electronics engineer, is any field of engineering, computer engineering, just name it, you are also in high demand then finally the last but not the least there are a lot, a lot of them but i'm going to be saying on this video the last one i'm going to be saying is the educational sector all right if you are in the stem system the science technology mathematics um just name it you are also um in hot demand or high demand in sweden then if you have other vocational skills like <clears throat> that are in demand in other European countries or in, in, in Canada, like we know, you can also take it there to Sweden, like the chef, you know, it's very, very high demand there. So if you have such skills, you can take it there and be rest assured that within nine months, if you can move there, 
you are going to be um, getting something to do for yourself. All right, now, the next thing I'll be telling you on this video is the sites, because it is important you know where to look for jobs um, when you move to it, or before, or when you move to a new country. The first thing is that it's important that you have, I've said before, have a LinkedIn account. It's very important you have a LinkedIn account if you want to work overseas or you want to study overseas or you want to purchase overseas have a linkedin account because from linkedin you can go to, you're going to meet prospective employers who would really want to interact with you go through your your cv go through your um, experience and contact you then you can go to eros the eros portal the eres portal is spelled e-u-r-e-s go to that portal there you have jobs european jobs or indeed.eu is a place where you can go also to look for so many opportunities if you are looking for jobs in Sweden. Another thing is you can also engage in when you get there, you can also try to network with people, you know, engage in workshops and seminars, go out, meet people, and also you have to be ready to learn the Swedish language because it's not all about English over there. They also speak their own country, which is their own country language, the local language, which is, Swed, um, which is spoken in Sweden. And um, so that you can get to know what is happening in the place that you're going and be ready to mingle with the people. I'm going to be dropping the link for where you can look for jobs in the description of this video. So don't get worried. All right. So there's something else you have to know, you have to know. Otherwise, I'm, I'm going to be putting others, other informations in the description of this video, like companies that can employ you when you get to Sweden. Some of these names are Swedish names, so I'm going to put in them in the description of this video um, so that you can go there and look for it. All right, so there's the other important information you need to know, the fact that um, when you're on this nine months visa, you cannot move with your family. You, before you can move with your family, is until you get uh, the work the work visa that is the work permit visa then you can bring in your family and your family are going to enjoy all the benefits of residence like hair benefits the school benefits and other benefits all right so also you can also move on this visa and start an employment like start a, a business all right so if you're up to start a business then you apply for the permanent residence immediately all right, so these are some of the things I, I really think you should know if you're opting for the Swedish um, job seeker visa. All right, I would like to hear from you in the comment section um, what you think about the Swedish work uh, visa, uh, work seeker visa, and if you're going to be making this application anytime soon. I think you're going to please stay safe.